Hi everyone, welcome back. Looking at this count, I'm thinking of my students and I'm seeing how we can read the words and they struggle with the words or they just say I don't understand what's happening. I keep on trying to keep to back to the simplest number of rules I possibly can. So first let's talk about what this count is. If a $10 chocolate has a $2 discount, most people are okay and they say, I talk to people, do you pay more or do you pay less if you get a discount? People will say, I pay less. So we get the $10 and we subtract the $2 and we end up paying $8. And that'd be nice. A lot of things would be very easy to do if we were written just as a discount like that. But everywhere we go, people don't talk in terms of, say, the $2. They talk in terms of the percent. When I look at my local supermarket here, they'll have yellow stickers and the yellow stickers will have the percentage discount. Quite interesting how often actually the numbers are quite wrong actually. Most of the time they're accurate or they're close enough, but sometimes they're quite wrong. So if I'm talking about a $10 disc, chocolate has a $2 discount, more commonly we'll say a $10 chocolate. So it's the same question, you've got all the extra words, as a 20% discount. Now I'm not going to write all the extra words like how much is the discount or what does it end up being, um, what does it end up costing you. Let's have a look at what it's talking about. So, especially with my students who struggle with reading, we've got a $10 and we've got a 20%. I've been mean, nagging and nagging and nagging people about. Really we're talking about 20% of $10. Which is what I did in the previous video, or actually in the previous two videos. I think this one I got it is going to end up being my percentage 03. So the first two, we'll talk about the basics on it. Now here's what I keep nagging about. This is on the first video and the second video. How can I write 20%? I, if I, my calculator can cope with percentages, I don't have to think about it. I could type in as percentages, but most people don't know how to, or their calculators don't do it at this stage. So instead of 20%, I can write 20 over 100. So I have a choice. I can, if I want to, go 20 over 100. I know nagging and nagging about of means multiply, which means times, I sort of talk about times. And the trouble with that is the fractions. Now, a lot of people struggle with fractions at the best of times, but when you're talking about money and we've got decimals and you might end up with an answer in decimals, it's not nice using fractions. So instead of using 20 over 100, the other choice is, just remember when we're talking about hundredths, hundredths means two decimal places and that's our two decimal places. So I could write that as 0 0.20. Now, a lot of people will say you don't need to write the extra zero, but it's still handy if you have it for a lot of people who are really struggling with their mouse, just to go 20% means 0 0.20. And if they're confident, you don't need to write the zero. So if I multiply that out, I end up getting two. Doesn't give the other zeros, but it gives us the same two that we had up here before, which is a $2 discount. Instead of writing it as a $2 discount, they write it as a 20% discount. I guess, oh, really, shops will have hundreds and hundreds of products and they might say there's a 20% discount on some and a 30% discount on others. You'll see that in the sale prices all the time. Now, by the way, I will mention that this time, there is another shortcut to 20% discount. I'm going to mention, I almost feel like I'm being cheeky about it. It's actually 80%. So what do you have to do when you get a 20% a discount, which is $2, then you've got to go, I had $10 and I subtract the $2 and I end up with $8. Now for some of you, if it works for your brain, when I get a 20% discount, I don't think of the 20% discount, I think of how much was left over. So 20% ends up becoming 80%. So if I said 80%, of ten dollars i can write that as 0 0.80 of his times or multiply and that's 10 and that gives us the eight dollars straight out so if you're talking about discount you can do it first as a calculation and then subtract it if you're comfortable with it for 20 percent i can talk about why does it become 80 percent it's actually this let's have a look at what we've got Get 100%, we know we're going to subtract 20%. What we're actually doing is we're actually getting 80%. So if you're more comfortable with that, 20% discount means that you're actually calculating 80%. I'll have a look at that a bit further in a moment and I'll do some more examples. 
So let's have a look at the common questions that you'll come up with and you'll see all the time in the shops. A 25% discount, so I really want to keep talking about a 20, there's a 25% discount, as long as you're okay with the word discount, and you're talking about $440 scooter. And students will say to me when I talked to them even yesterday, they'll go, oh, you divide the 440 by 25, or you divide the 25 by 440. And they're going to go back to what is a discount? The discount is the percent that we're going to take off. Discount is the percent we're going to take off. Let's have a look what it is. So, if you weren't confident, you've got to think through again. I can go 25 out of 100, or I can go 0 0.25. Problem with fractions is, when we're talking about money, we don't want fractions, we want decimals. So I can simply write that as 0 0.25 times this is 25% of, now the words here aren't saying of, but I know it's of, 25% of that. Now I know um, the answer to that one is actually 110. So does it mean you add the 110 on, or does it mean you take the 110 off? And where do we take it off? That was the selling price, we'll talk about selling price. The selling price, or the list price in the shop is $440. We're going to subtract the 110. I've got the 440, subtract the 110, and end up in $330. Now I will mention in case some people are comfortable with it. 25% discount means instead of paying 100%, I'm going to take off 25% and I'm going to pay 75%. So if that works for you, it's a nice shortcut. I don't find a lot of people really comfortable with it, but some are. So I could have instead I could have gone 0.75 times the 440 and then I end up with the 330. It tells me the answer straight away. Now what I'm going to this one for is a couple of reasons. This time it's a small number and so many people mess up with a small number and they'll end up, and if you watch my other videos you've seen me already talk about, I could write that as 5 out of 100. But by the way, if you write that as 5 out of 100, it's pretty obvious it's quite small. I'm only getting five out of every hundred. So it can't be 0 0.5, it has to be 0 0.05. So five hundredths, and if you think back to decimals, there's the tenths, the first decimal place of the tenth, and the second decimal place of the hundredths. So that's five out of a hundred, which we know is 0 0.05. And we're gonna multiply it by 39.95. Now here's where it becomes quite yucky. The numbers become terrible. I'm going to write down what that answer is. I've got it calculated here. Also, by the way, type in your calculator as 0 0.05 multiplied by 39.95, and it gives you this weird answer. I'm going to put a dollar sign in, and we get that's the discount. So this is actually the discount. Here's where people come unstuck. I think it's what happens with a lot of the supermarkets when they're calculating their prices and the person does the calculation using a calculator and they make mistakes with it. The discount is $1.99, but when we've got money, we've got these other numbers here. Now, I always like to talk about think of a method. So if I cover over that seven and the five, I've got $1.99. If the next number is a big number, which is a definition of five or bigger, so that's a five or bigger. That means it's closer to $2 instead of $1.99. So hopefully most people are okay that after $1.99 comes $2. So it's, it's a, I had to think about this calculation and go, well, I give it to you at this stage. $1.99 is nearly $2. When you're doing the actual calculation, that means it's going to round up to $2. You can look at the other numbers, but all we're looking at is that first one there. It's almost like you can ignore that one and go, is that big or is it little? Is it five or more? If it's five or more, this will go up, and this will go up, and that will go up, and we're very, very, very close to $2. Of course, we can't get a bit of a cent when we're doing these sorts of calculations. We've paid for the nearest cent with our credit card or whatever card we're using. Let's have a look at that. The discount is $2, so what's going on? I had 39 95 so there's my two numbers, the 5% and the 39.95. When I calculate the discount, what do I do with it? I subtract it. So I'm going to subtract the $2 and I end up with $37.95. I will mention this one again. If I had 
the shortcut in my brain and I understood that 100 minus the 5 means that I'm actually going to calculate 95%. So instead of doing it that way, I could have gone 0.95 times by 39.95 and I end up with the same answer off, 37.95. The trouble is you will get all the extra decimals and you've got to be careful. I hope it helps. I could do so many more examples. There's plenty in most of your textbooks. They will tend to go much harder though.